everybody. Thanks for joining me today. It's Roxana. We're going to do a smoky kind of orange look today. It's an old Mac face chart. It was a look that they did for Viva Glam. I believe it was five on Pamela Anderson. It was a look that I've always loved. It just so happens to be also a challenge this week on makeupgeek.com, one of my favorite beauty blog sites. And so I wanted to go ahead and recreate that look for you guys today. And you can see that I have already done that here. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it on my other eye. Thanks so much for joining me. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do today um, for the eye is a little bit tricky. I did go ahead and prime my eye with a little bit of a shadow base. So I use the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion. Um, I'm also going to be using a little bit of melon pigment. And also, this is electric coral pigment. I picked that up at the Mac Pro Store the last time I was there around Christmas. Um, I'm going to be using my little flat synthetic hairbrush, and I'm also going to be using a little dab of uh, Max Mixing medium, medium, which you can also get at the Pro Store. I'm going to take the tiniest little dab of that, put it on the back of my hand, and I'm first going to take a little bit of the melon pigment, and I'm going to mix it with the mixing medium. And this is going to go right on my lower lid. Oops, need a little more pigment. There we go. So this should go on really nice and smooth from your lash. your crease. The look, they actually used the shade stick in Mango Mix. Um, I'm not terribly a big fan. I prefer the pigments of the shade sticks. Maybe I just don't work with them as well. Okay, so I'm going to dab this brighter electric coral into the crease line. And you can see on this side, do go ahead and come closer down in towards your uh, tear duct. do it. Okay, so you can see melon and then the electric coral in the crease. And I'm going to take my little flat shader brush here and I'm going to take Soba, sorry, be easier to see that way, and we're just going to press this into that melon all over the lid. So just go ahead, press that in. We're going to take this lovely bright color, well, you can't really see how bright it is here, but it's orange shadow and my 217 brush. And this we're going to just put rather heavily into the contour. All right, you can check that out. Now we're gonna take one of my favorite shadows, um, coppering. We're gonna take our big windshield wiper brush, 224, kind of twist and twirl that in that color and tap it off. And this is gonna go just kind of like your typical windshield wiper motion in the crease. All 
Alrighty, now we're gonna take mystery, deep kind of brown color, and our 222 brush. We're gonna go in the corners here and kind of smoke up little small circles on the outer corner of the eye. I'm probably shaking the camera. We're gonna take some of this as well in the inner corner. Don't cover up the center of your look though, right on the ball of the eye. blend a little bit in the crease there. Trying to get my sides even. Okay, we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and vanilla shadow. This is gonna go as a highlight right underneath our brow. We can also use it to kind of blend and soften the colors that we've been working with. So right under the arch of the brow. If you want a little extra placement, you can use your 252 brush. And just get that right under the arch of the brow. Alrighty, let's see how we are looking. Looks good. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more. I'm going to take my, uh, just blending now, 224 brush, a little bit more orange, and a little bit more of the coppery. Perfect. Now we are gonna take a little smudgy brush, take some of that mystery and smudge it right underneath your lash line. And go ahead and smudge it in the top lash line as well. We're going to take our black track liner and our bent eyeliner brush. Give a quick line in the lash line. All right, everyone, I have finished up the rest of the look for you. Um, so basically, all I did was add lashes, as you can see, and touch up my liner. And then I did take a little bit of uh, Laura Mercier's black ebony eyeliner with my damp eyeliner brush and actually lined the upper um, waterline of my eye. And then I closed my eyes really tight so it would kind of smudge underneath on the bottom, if you can see that as well. And um, I think I said already, but I touched up my eyeliner as well. Um, the cheek color I have on is Max Copper Tone. I believe that.